A once in a lifetime event is happening in April and people from all over the world will be flocking here to witness it. A total solar eclipse will be visible from our area for the first time in almost 100 years. And as Adam Atkinson tells us, Niagara Falls is being touted as one of the best places to see it. You might want to carefully look to the sky on April 8th for a total eclipse of the sun. It starts about 2 o'clock when the, the shadow of the moon crosses the face of the sun. And then what they call totality is when the moon goes exactly over the face of the sun. That starts about 3 o'clock. Astronomer Mario Carr says the total eclipse will only last for a short time, longer depending on where you watch from. And that goes on till about uh, 1 minute and 50 seconds in Hamilton and Niagara, where you're more in the center, that happens, it's going to be about uh, three minutes and 31 seconds. The mayor of Niagara Falls is expecting upwards of a million eclipse watchers to flock to the area to watch the once in a lifetime event. You could probably expect eight to nine times the number of the biggest crowd you've ever had before. Biggest crowd we've ever had in recent memory is Nick Walenda. Nick Walenda, we had over 100,000 people in the park. So if you do the math, we're going to be approaching a million people at one time in Niagara Falls. That alone will be a spectacle. But bringing that many people to the area comes with a lot of planning. We've got an emergency preparation plan coming together. We're working with all the local agencies. The QEW is going to be full. We know the trains are going to be full. The hotels are going to be full. It's going to be the biggest crowd we've ever had. The last time the Niagara region saw a total eclipse was back in 1925. And there won't be another one for 120 years. An online check shows a room at the Hilton Niagara Falls on Sunday, the day before the eclipse, will cost you more than $700. I mean, like anything in the area, um, it does play with uh, supply and demand. Uh, there is clearly a demand for this event, as we've seen um, guest booking up into or uh, a year in advance. Um, it, it will definitely be a, a, a busy evening. We're, we're kind of uh, anticipating it to be another New Year's Eve. To protect your eyes on April 8th, don't look directly at the eclipse. And it's recommended to pick up a pair of special eclipse glasses like these ones before the big day. Adam Atkinson, CHH News, Niagara Falls.